So, hello from London again. We're here today um, in front of the London Eye, one of the major attractions here in London um, on another beautiful, glorious day. This morning was a little bit of rain, but uh, the guards have been kind to us. The clouds have moved away. And I'm here talking with Adrian Kovac, one of our excellent graduates who graduated 18 months ago with her BSc Honours degree. Adrian, lovely to see you again. Same. It's been quite a while. Yeah, year and a half. A lot happened in the year and a half. And you've been in London the whole time for the last year and a half? Yes, I was. Straight after exams. Two days after I flew over and started working Crown Plaza and the Heathrow. So tell us, what have you been doing in, at the Heathrow Crown Plaza for the last year and a half? Oh, um, how much time do you have? We have plenty of um, time, don't worry. Yeah, well, I started started working as a guest relations officer. officer. Um, I came over with barely any proper front office experience. So this 18 months, that's been a proper learning learning process for me. Um, I did learn a lot. I did have the possibility as well, fortunately, to, to have a deeper look into different departments, more into managerial um, skills, getting some managerial, managerial skills as well. So if you look back over the years that you spent at HTMI, now that you're a graduate, you're oh, in the big wide world, memories, yeah. Yeah? and it's nice to hear it's good memories. Oh, definitely. I know, it's sometimes, you know, a lot of students think, you know, we teachers are very tough. But I think once yeah, they, they graduate and they actually reach the real world, you know, they realize, you know, why we're so tough and so strict on a lot of the standards that we implement. Um, could you think of any particular examples? I don't know, it could be, for example, you know, professional grooming and so on, um, that you learned at HTMI that you actually are able to use now that you're in the big wide world? A lot. Like, most of the things I do, it's because, it's because I learned it. And I learned it in school. So, um, if, I'm, if I'm faced with a task um, of any kind, the, the the basics that I'm gonna go back is gonna be my it's gonna be my studies in school grooming definitely uh, as you mentioned I mean that's the, that's the basic of it um, of course in the in the real life in the hotels there are certain standards that we have to keep and uh, it's not nice to be told if you don't don't keep those standards um, having that learned in school it gave me a much easier start. Uh, in that path as well, um, but on, a, on any any level, uh, I can say it's true because, as I said, where I go back if I need help, it's my studies. So. And now that you're working in the, you know front office and in guest services, if you look back at the front office course that you studied, yep. were there or are there any elements of that course that you're actually seeing being practiced in the industry? Yes. Uh, one thing is the system knowledge. I mean, um, it's not rocket science, obviously. Everybody can uh, pick it up and it's, it can be quite self-explanatory as well. But on the other hand, um, what I brought with me uh, that I felt was the most important, it's complaint handling. It's one, one example that it just came to my mind now because being guest relations officer, most of the time I'm faced with guests, good or bad. Uh, but if it's bad, uh, it's an unfortunate occasion, then um, then this is something that I, I used to learn and this was something that I wouldn't, wouldn't stand there not knowing what to do, but I had the idea of how to deal with complaints. Well, that's really great to hear. Um, I've been speaking to other students within the HTMI Olympic team in the last week and some of them, especially the ones working for the Olympics, said that they were actually quite happy that they had the Sorenbeck concepts because it taught them certain skills like, you know, planning, uh, teamwork and so on. Yep. Would you, from your opinion, be able to say that you are able to use the skills that you've done within the Sorenbeck concepts when you were at HTMI? Um, yes, when I was a trainer, 
and it was the special year when we were organizing the 10 years anniversary of the school. Um, that was more of a real life experience already for me. Really? To do that, and I did learn a lot uh, during that that period. I remember which, you which were my me on a daily basis. You were my hours, senior me. personal assistant to pull exactly. off that uh, <laughs> mega event. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's nice to hear that you remember. No, I did. I did learn a lot. Because I always thought I was a bit tough on you during that uh, tenure. Yes, and you were, but uh, still, I did learn a lot. <laughs> so, what advice would you give to any current students that are going to be watching this video and future students that will come into the school? Students coming to the school or students leaving the school? Oh, oh. Give advice to coming both Coming to groups. the school, that's pretty easy. Just take the most of it, honestly. School school gives all the opportunities uh, it's just it's just up to the individual how how he's using that op opportunity uh, students who's who's leaving the school I think one of the most important things to to be prepared we have the knowledge but we have to be prepared to use that knowledge correctly I mean um, we're not just gonna get any position just because we're smiling nice or bad wound um, when someone's going on an interview, there will be questions trying to figure out how prepared the person was about the industry, about the hotel, and about expectations. So uh, I think it's very important. I had I had the chance to do interviews on my own. Um, and of new I, staff, you mean? Sorry? Of new potential of staff. new potential staff. Well, not sorry, not on my own, but together with my line right. manager. So... Uh, I did quite a few and I did realize that um, being prepared, it gives a much better impression in the first place. It's interesting that you say that because I was speaking to the HR director um, of Duke's Hotel yeah. and she said exactly the same thing. You mm. know, she said it's, it's more than just going to the hotel website and looking, you know, what's the restaurant, what's the food they serve, how many rooms. Exactly. You know, it's really doing research on the company, on the hotel understanding the service philosophy you know what the hotel is all about would you agree with that assessment definitely i mean from plaza is part of a chain and um i've met i've met candidates not even not even knowing that from plaza was part of one of the major chains in the world so uh how, how would somebody would like to be a part of something like this when they don't even know what it is so um i i do agree with it yes any other advice that you want to give graduating students? Oh, tough question. Um, there's probably a lot. Um, grooming, again, it comes down. It, it does matter how somebody is uh, appearing. And be confident. Be, be confident. Um, because otherwise, you're not going not gonna to go anywhere. And uh, I just had a conversation with one of my staff members today. Um, not my staff members, but um, I used to uh, supervise them for a short period. And she's leaving the hotel shortly. And I realized that the place she's going, she's basically just doing a step aside. And I asked her, like, why is that that you're doing the same level um, position? Why d you didn't get any, any higher position like a supervisor? And she is like, you know what? I applied for so many positions on the same level, and I didn't get didn't get any any replies. Like, did you apply for a higher position to see what's the response? Like, no, I didn't. It's like, why not? Because I'm not even getting response for this one. And it's like, probably because those managers who's looking at your CV, they will think you're overqualified. I mean, those many years of experience, you have to risk it and try to step higher. And she looked at me a bit scared, like. Oh, I did something wrong now. I applied for the wrong position. <laughs> but um, no, I, I, I told her, risk it. Risk it, because otherwise you're never going to go uh, any, any further. That's interesting, because it, I mean, it is all about, you know, taking risks. Exactly. You know, and just and trying, you know, and trying to go into the next position. Exactly. What I, what I also learned that I have to, I had, I had to take ownership for certain things. I mean, earning the, uh, the trust of my managers in a way that they are trusting me with leaving me with certain uh, tasks. It's because I took the liberty in few occasions and made a decision on my own that 
this is going to happen this and this way and uh, I make sure that it's going right. to happen this and this way and um, you have to have to make your own decisions sometimes you can't always rely on somebody else because there may come a point when there's not going to be anybody else yeah, so, sure. uh, um, I'd just like to finish off by asking you about quality guest service alright now that I mean you've, you've had the lectures you know we've had the role plays and now you're in the real industry, real world, large, you know, hotel. Do it's all about quality guest service. Why? That's the heart of it. Um, well, happy guests is going to bring the most business. But I would correct this a little bit because happy stuff can make the happy guests. And if the stuff is not happy, the guests not going to be happy either. But once you have the great stuff... It's all about how you deliver um, that guest service. So, it's, I mean, you, you mentioned happy guests, and I quite like what you just said. Yeah. So, how does a hotel maintain and keep, uh, sorry, not happy guests, happy staff? How does a hotel keep and maintain happy staff? Uh, on many different levels, actually. I'm quite fortunate. Not just, not just my, hotel, my hotel, but... Um, certain things that we do in the hotel those are chain standards and the hotel fortunately on top of that implements a few more things currently this week actually uh, is something called uh, celebrate service week in the hotel uh, when we have some extra fun activities um, when the get when the uh, staff has ruffles for example today was the day when the head of departments were cleaning the staff members cars for example so yeah. this kind of fun fun stuff which is a bit unusual and I haven't really seen it in any other hotel but um, this is an example uh, on a day, daily basis I would say the most important um, is to recognize the recognition to recognize if somebody is doing something good I had the honor to, to get the employee of the month uh, congratulations uh, in last September, uh, this is something which is which is very important. If your picture is standing there um, with the general manager shaking hands, that just makes you feel proud. Yeah. And um, but if you just if you just put all these efforts into your work and nobody ever says, you know what, well, well done. I, I really appreciate what you just did. Then at a certain point, that person is just going to lose all the motivation. Not so correct. it's very important that good job is being recognized yeah. well you know Adrian it's really been great seeing you again and it's been great chatting to you and it's so nice to see you know one of our very successful graduates who's made a success within the industry Trying you know best. and uh, you still have a long way to go so on behalf of HTMI um, you know you're always welcome to come back and see us anytime I do come from time to time yeah. you know that <laughs> so please do come in because there's yeah. always changes happening within the school but we wish you all the very best with your Thank future you career. Much. Lots of success. And uh, good luck during the Olympics. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, that was it from London. So I think it's now time that we go up the London Eye and have the 360-degree view of uh, London. Thank you. Yeah.